Welcome to New Fast Food, where it looks like the end is near for the chicken. Burger King is testing five different new premium chicken sandwiches. Well, really just one, but also four variations of that new sandwich. Which, on its own, is pretty exciting, but that's not all. They're also testing a variation of their value chicken sandwich and some new Whopper variations. I've got details on each of those, plus Burger King's curious new breakfast sandwich and an exciting new addition coming to Burger King's mix and match deal. A royal episode of new fast food starts now. We're going to start with the chicken and its apparent imminent demise. Someone who claims to be a Burger King regional general manager on Reddit stated that they'd be killed off sometime this fall. The chicken was officially introduced less than a year ago and we're already now talking about it being discontinued. Part of me is really shocked by this news, and another part of me sort of saw this coming all along. When I first heard that Burger King was going to be releasing a hand-breaded chicken sandwich, my first reaction was that this was going to be a very limited time thing, because it just didn't match with Burger King's brand. Then, I learned how much Burger King was investing in being able to actually perform the hand-breading in the stores. And the rollout was taking like six months, it really seemed like hand breading was going to become a permanent thing for Burger King chicken sandwiches. There was also legitimate hype building as Burger King was slowly rolling these out. At the time they were called, just calling them hand breaded crispy chicken sandwiches. It was, they were getting great reviews and there was a lot of anticipation as they were being introduced into more and more cities. But then the official nationwide release happened and Burger King switched from calling them the hand breaded crispy chicken sandwiches to calling them the chicken. And I think that really killed it. The name Chiking is just so bad. It was so bad that in my head I was thinking, there's no way that this lasts, or, or there's no way that they even intended for this to last. That name is so gimmicky, and while people like you and I are probably the types that get excited about fast food gimmicks, if Burger King really wanted these things to last, it needed to give them a name that the average customer could take seriously. Even I, I gotta admit, that I feel silly when I have to speak the word chicken when placing an order. The sandwich isn't perfect, but there's no doubt that it deserved a better name. I'm a little surprised they haven't done more to bolster the chicken. They haven't done many promotions around it. They haven't released any other variations besides the classic and the spicy. They could have even just tried changing the name. Taco Bell did that with their Mexican pizza. It was originally released as the Pizzazz Pizza, an equally gimmicky name is the Chiquin. Maybe Chiquin is a little bit sillier. But of course, Taco Bell later changed the name to the Mexican pizza, and it became a staple item for decades. I don't fault the creative team for coming up with a crazy name. That's sort of their job. But whoever the executive was who signed off on using that name, they deserve to be fired. And as much as the name is a gimmick, the hand-breaded part is completely not a gimmick. The Burger King employees have been hand-breading these things in the back of the store which is a lot of work. The breading stations take up precious space in the kitchen. There's also a bunch of complications with frying them. These things are a logistical nightmare. So now the writing is on the wall that the chicken will be killed off really soon. And multiple sources are starting to report that Burger King is already rolling out their replacement in select cities around the country. It's called the BK Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich and it comes in five varieties. There's the original and the spicy, of course, but they're also testing a bacon and Swiss cheese royal crispy chicken, a southern barbecue royal crispy chicken, and a honey butter royal crispy chicken. I've been able to locate these all at restaurants in the Virginia Beach area, but I hear they're also available at locations in parts of New York and North Carolina. Now, I wouldn't expect anything other than the original and spicy versions to end up making it to the nationwide launch. Burger King already did this with the chicken, back then known as the hand breaded crispy chicken. In the first few cities that it was available, they also offered a cheddar bacon version, but of course, we never got that version nationwide. So I don't think we'd see the bacon Swiss, southern barbecue, or honey butter versions anytime soon. But like I said, the original and spicy versions will probably hit all Burger Kings sometime this fall. Looking at this, there's a couple of things that I find interesting. First, What's up with all those toppings? I think customers have made it clear that they prefer chicken sandwiches with just a bun and pickles. Maybe some mayo, but I actually prefer mine dry. This seems like, from a trend perspective, 
Burger King is taking a huge step backwards. Is there really someone at Burger King who thought that the problem with the chicken was the pickles? This whole thing is maddening. So that's potentially a problem. However, perhaps the saving grace is that spicy version. See, there's a few ways you can make a spicy crispy chicken sandwich. One is by putting the spices directly into the breading. Sort of like what Wendy's does with their spicy chicken sandwich. Another way is with a spicy sauce. That's what McDonald's does for their spicy crispy chicken. Yet a third way is what Burger King does with the chicken, which is tossing the chicken in a spicy glaze. Now that spicy glaze is my favorite part of the chicken. I love the flavor, I love the texture, and I love the visual aesthetic that it gives it. Well, it looks like the new spicy royal chicken is using that same glaze. If that's the case, that's a huge win for the royal crispy chicken and for Burger King. In fact, I can say with near certainty that they are using the same glaze just by looking at the calorie count. See, the only downside of the glaze on the chicken is that it's oil-based, so it packs a lot of calories. On the chicken, the spicy version was 160 calories more than the regular version. And look here at the BK Royal Crispy Chicken, and yes, the spicy is exactly 160 calories more than the normal one. I wish they could find a way to bring that calorie count down, but like I said, the glaze is my favorite part, so I'll just deal with it, and I'm glad that at least in this test phase, they're planning on continuing with that spicy glaze. As far as the other variations, they all look good to me. Bacon and Swiss sounds like a good combination for a chicken sandwich. So does barbecue sauce, grilled onions, and cheese. My favorite one of the variations is the honey butter and pickles. Again, because I really just want pickles on my chicken sandwich. So there you have it. If you're a fan of the chicken, start loading up now. The BK Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich is likely coming this fall, and the chicken will be gone forever. Alright, as if that weren't big enough news, I've also got news about some other items being tested over at Burger King. These, I don't really know where they're being offered at, because this leak is the result of a Burger King data mine. Yes, fast food restaurants are being data mined for leaks now. These are all actually really exciting. First, let's look at the Avocado Bacon Whopper. This is a Whopper with avocado spread, bacon, tortilla strips, and a spicy sauce. This looks amazing. This might give the Angry Whopper and the Texas Double Whopper a run for their money as far as my favorite Whopper variations. Everything on there sounds like a home run, and I also like that it's being marketed as a Whopper instead of as part of the King Burger lineup. If Burger King wants to refocus on Whopper promotions, like they said they do, in my mind, this would have been a better one to start with instead of the Whopper melts. I'm hoping this one does make it nationwide. They're also offering it in a Double Whopper and Whopper Junior variations as well. That's the Avocado Bacon Whopper and yes please. Alright, also as part of that data mine, it was discovered that Burger King is testing croissant versions of both the Whopper Junior and the Crispy Chicken Junior. This seems like a no-brainer. Burger King already has croissants that it uses for breakfast, so why not use them on the burgers and chicken sandwiches too? This is so simple, yet so refreshing. I'd be all over these. The Whopper Jr. one sounds like it'd be a little bit more adventurous as far as a flavor combination goes, but the chicken one sounds like it'd be a great fit taking the value chicken sandwich and almost elevating it to a premium level. I can't believe they haven't done this before. That's such a missed opportunity. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure where these croissant sandwiches are available. If you've seen them or the avocado bacon Whopper, let me know where they're at. All right, now let's move on to some menu changes that are hitting Burger King this week. There's some new sandwiches becoming available and a new mix and match option. Let's start with the new addition to the two for five mix and match deal. Starting this Thursday, May 19th, chicken fries will be added to the mix and match options, meaning the choices in total will be the Big King, Quarter Pound King, Original Chicken Sandwich, Big Fish, and now the chicken fries. I've got a feeling that this is going to be a popular choice for someone who's ordering for themselves. Not everyone wants to be ordering two burgers, but now you'll have the option to order a burger and some chicken fries. That sounds like a pretty nice meal for five bucks. That is if your location still offers the $5 price. I know in my area, the mix and match deal is two for six, and I've seen some cities where it's two for $7. So if your location still has two for five, consider yourself very, very lucky. 
Overall, I'm really happy with the addition of the chicken fries as an option. Again, that's scheduled to be added to the mix and match deal this Thursday, May 19th. Another new menu addition that's available now in most locations is the cheesy breakfast melts. These use the same bread that Burger King has been using for the Whopper melts, but puts them on breakfast sandwiches instead. This, just like the croissants on the chicken sandwiches, sounds like a good fit. The thing that's curious here is the timing. The Whopper melts are done. They're not being offered anymore. These breakfast melts use the same bread though, so they should have been offered all along at the same time as the Whopper melts. And if Burger King is still going to be stocking the bread for these breakfast melts, then they should really continue to offer the Whopper melts as well. I mean, why get rid of them? All you have to do is keep stocking the grilled onions. I can't think of a reason for them not to offer the Whopper melts and the breakfast melts at the same time. It's extremely bizarre that it's happening that way, but we shouldn't be surprised. Everything about the Whopper melts has been bizarre. In fact, I made a video about all the bizarre details about the Whopper melt promotion, and you can click here to watch that video now.